Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with another LEGO Movie Review. Today's set review is set number 70815, the Super Secret Police Dropship. This set has 8 minifigures and 854 pieces. And it comes with the dropship as well as 8 minifigures. 8 minifigures is a crazy number of minifigures for the price of the set, in my opinion. And they're all really cool minifigures. Let's take a look at them now. And before we show the individual minifigures, let's just quickly pan here to see all eight. Here is what all eight look like. Now let's take a look at them individually. Minifigure one here, and it is a super secret police space person. He has leg printing as well as on his torso, which he does have torso printing, I believe, I can't remember. Yeah, he does. He has a vest on, like a bulletproof vest with the super secret police logo and lots of pockets. He's also wearing a helmet with goggles and his skin is like a metallic because he is a robot. We'll just turn it around here. At the back here it says super secret police. Let's just take his helmet off so you can actually see his face. Robot face. We're going to take his head right off so you can see his printing. And this is what his printing looks like underneath walkie talkie and it's just kind of cool but I also like the bulletproof vest it just kind of you know adds some stuff like don't get shot or kind of I don't know just a fun police officer this second minifigure is pretty much the same same printing and everything the only thing that's different is the helmet it is this helmet even the face is still the same I'm not gonna waste time on this mini on the next like really four minifigures because they're pretty much all the same. Same as the last two, this one has the same face, torso, and legs. This one has a different hat. It has got a beanie on it instead of a helmet. And this one also has this bracket on the back of its torso just so it can jump out of the dropship, which I'll talk about a little later on. It's, that's the only difference to this minifigure. Here's the last droid ship dropship whatever minifigure. It's got the same legs and torso. It does have a different face, but it does have, and it has the same helmet as another one. And again, it has a bracket on its back to be used to jump out of the dropship. Here is the Lego Ninjago Green Ninja that comes in this set. It has the green turban up there on his head. He's got like the crossed eyes, like he's going to be mad. I'll show you the face in a minute. And he has printing on both his torso and his legs. It's like the continued warrior pattern and he's wearing handcuffs he's got these cool shoulder pads that actually hook up to the sword oh, sorry the two swords that he has on his back and they can be removed which is pretty cool and you can just sort of see the little back printing that he has that's his back printing move all that stuff out of the way and this is his head it's just a cross not very happy minifigure and of course there is Batman. Batman has his Batman logo on his shirt with his belt and all that stuff. He's got, he holds the bat thrower thingy that he throws. I'm not familiar with Batman. He's got his cape on and it does show his bat printing here when you push the cape up. Here's what his face looks like when you, then it, here's what it looks like when you put the bat head on. It looks totally different. He only has printing on his front and back torso, not on his legs. The next minifigure here is Johnny Thunder. Johnny Thunder has also been captured by the uh, super secret police force. He is wearing handcuffs, although he's managed to find himself a gun. I'll move the gun and the handcuffs out of the way just so you can kind of see what he looks like. He's got the red shirt, or the red scarf on his tan shirt with some explorer gear. And he has back printing again, no leg printing. This is what his face looks like. And then you put this really cool western type hat on. And I just think that is very, very cool. And finally, the last minifigure here is Emmett. The Emmett's got his nice little smile on his face here. He has the same printing on his torso and on his legs as most Emmett's do. On the back here, he has the piece of resistance with the same Emmett printing. I'll just take his hair off quickly so you can see what his back face looks like. It's like that, ah, I'm going to get captured by the super secret police dropship people. I better run away, run away with Batman, we have to save the day. Now we've all been waiting for the dropship. So here's what the dropship looks like, I'll just do a quick overview of it, just because there's just so big, there's so many cool features. But we'll start here at the front. Up here at the front there's this huge windshield 
that is just very cool. I'm gonna take that off for you to see it. Open it up, it's a double level cockpit, so one controller can sit here, one can sit up there, and you put it back on, and it's just a very cool looking feature. Look, at it looks neat. On each side we have two sirens, we have a blue and a red, a, red, a blue and a red up here, and they're just like, you know, because it is a police dropship. And then on the front here, I'm not really sure what these do, but I'm guessing they're shooters, and they rotate in several degrees and angles and can shoot whatever, I guess. you could. They can shoot whatever you want. Move on to the side here. You can just kind of look at all the detail that's packed in the set. I'm only going to talk about really the play features and what you can do. You open up this side here when you see all the stickers because that's pretty much all the set is, is lots of stickers. And this is what the inside of the compartment looks like. I'm going to open it up so you can kind of see some more. We have some guns here. Some cool use of computer monitors, I think, over there. They're not upside right. We have a string, which I'll talk about in a minute. Just some platforms for minifigures to stand in there, do what they're doing. And these platforms do go back down. They don't stay up the best, I find. They're a little wobbly, but that's okay. Up here at the top, we have just some lots of slopes, just to get it, kind of give like the mini, just to give it a cool look. And we also have this bike right up here. Not a bike, but a platform that does spin around and is used as a shooter instead of looking like a camera. There's a control panel so they can control what they're doing, who they're shooting, kind of thing. Very neat up there. There's spots up here for guns and binoculars, two gun spots on each side, as well as some antennas because they've got to send out signals to, you know, bad cop and everybody on the ground floor, ground level. And then here at the back, just some more uses of slopes, more sirens on each side as well. It's hard to maneuver this set in the studio because it's just so big. And that's what, here's what a top view of it all looks like. One gun's not properly clipped in properly, apparently. And another cool feature, which in this set, a lot of the bigger LEGO movie sets actually, are these um, flick, flick fire missiles. And they work crazy like I've had to look for so many because this each set comes with three and I lost all three that came with this set so this is what they look like you know you just quickly flick them up from up I guess oh that's why you flick them from the side and they shoot out these because because the flick flyer part the brick is not up straight you don't flick it the way you normally would for others tonight you have to flick it from the top and it just shot my computer screen. I hope it didn't break it. I forgot to put my hand out. Oh well, and there's one on each side of this actually, and they fit in pretty easy. And your kid. And they just go in. There's one on this side too. A cool feature to the whole dropship here is the fact that these jets thing moves. You know, they drop down to land, and when you're, the jet's going up, it, they uh, rotate up, I guess you could say, for them to fly. And there's jet exhaust coming, and it's just, I just think it's pretty cool looking. And you can actually set them down like this, so don't think that you cannot. But because there are little supports, but I think it just works better to set it down like this. Open it up here, we're going to talk about another feature. This feature allows the, uh, I guess you could say, droid battles bad ship. I'm just going to pick up the minifigure here. Sorry, I threw them all in a bucket, forgetting I need them. To uh, jump out of the dropship. So you put, attach it to the bracket here. One of the, there's two with a bracket and two without. So you can actually, when you're flying the dropship, have the minifigure fly down below. See, woohoo. And there's, it's actually quite a long string. It gives lots of opportunities for your minifigures to jump out and attack Emmett and stuff like that. And when you lift it up, you can just use this little switch afterwards to rotate the string back so you're not hurting your fingers trying to, you know, push it in there, your minifigures inside. Shut it down and it's all, all very good. As I said, there are a lot of cool features with this dropship and it's really hard to show them all. I'm just going to show you with the camera some of the detailing on this set.
one of the things I saved is for the best for the last. It's the back part of this dropship. I did show it, but I didn't show what it actually did. You take your nail here, you pull down, and there's, oh my gosh, there's a platform. And you're wondering, like, what's this big empty space doing in this dropship? Like, what's it used for? It's because this set actually comes with this containment unit to hold the prisoners. I'm going to show this a little in detail in a minute. I'm just showing you how to do it. It fits in right here. The tile on the top actually guides it very nice. And it fits right in. And it pushes right into the back. So it just looks, and you can actually use it still. When in here, it's just not easy to put the minifigure in. But when it's all down, you can push it up and contain it. And this is actually the little part that does the dropship part that I was telling you about a little earlier. Can't do it because I'm not holding it right now. But you just do it again. Put your fingers in. Pull on the door. Just enough to get it out a little. And lift it out. So now you probably are like, hey, I want to see this. So this is what the little containment holder looks like. It's just got plates on the bottom, a big tile on the top, a 6x6 tile to use, as used for guiding, and along the whole way are these trans red windows and then these trans red bars to be used as cell containment. And the minifigure, just, I'll just, hey, I'll just use this, my stick fig, because I've been bad. You know, you just stick your minifigure in there. It's kind of hard to do it with your big hands, like if you have big hands like me. But, you know, put your figure in there. Lock them up. Oops, I just shot the one of the missile launchers. <laughs> Focus it in perfectly right. And push it all the way in. Close it up. And there you have it. You would never even know that you were locked in the dropship. Another interesting thing about this set is actually when you buy it, right here where this gray tile is, there is a secret game code tile for you to use in an online game to play online LEGO. I have not played the game yet, but I did take my code off just because if I ever do want to play, I don't want some one of my viewers, because there are a lot of you, to have used my code. So that, but when you do buy this set, you do get an exclusive code to play with online. Because this is the larger set, I find that there are a lot of play features in this set. With everything from arresting all the bad guys, to having Batman and Emmett save the day, to shooting p shooting the blasters, to jumping from the dropship, there are just a lot of features in this set that I think people, especially kids, will enjoy. It's a neat set, it's a fairly big set, it's quite, it's not heavy, but it's quite awkward, I guess you could say, that you, I, I would only feel safe with both hands on it one if I'm holding on to it really strong. But I think it's just really cool. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's neat how everything moves and is robotic. And I just like the building method. Like it's not just studs on top. It's the snot method. Studs not on top. There's studs on every side. There's lots of slopes and curves. And I just think it's a really cool set with some awesome play features. Thank you so much for watching this review by myself, BrickLover18. You can check me out here on YouTube, BrickLover18. You can also check me out on Instagram, Twitter, BrickLink, and my website, BrickLover18.com. Thanks a lot for watching. I just want to hope you have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends, comment, like it, all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.